Hey, what's going on DDO players, Axel here. So today we're gonna to talk update 62. I was gonna include this as part of the longer video that I'm working on, but I figured what the heck, let's just make update 62 its own separate video. So there's a lot of stuff to talk about when it comes to update 62, which is releasing today, Wednesday, October 4th, 2023. So let's go over the important stuff. So the first thing, Night Revels is hitting the game today. So there are new stuff, there is new stuff to go after in Night Revels. So we've got this stuff here. So there's a new mount called the Reaper Steed, a Spectral Suedo Dragon Certificate, Cosmetic Armor, Cloak, and Hat. Defender of the Harvest, Cloak of the Autumn Feathers, Harvest Hunter's Hat. So it's kind of like an autumn-themed cosmetic set you can go after. The biggest thing coming back that people are going to be excited about is the candies are returning. So they they this used to be a regular thing every year. They would expire and you'd have to re-earn them every year. So here are the new values for the candies in 2024. They've been changed dramatically from their last iteration. The older iterations had a very long uptime. These new iterations have a very short uptime. So now the uptime is only 20 seconds. However, the downtime is dramatically reduced from the old iterations. So it now has a two minute cooldown. The very short duration of these candies does make them much worse than the older iterations of the candies. However, it is still a very short grind in terms of ingredients to get these so you will probably want to get them anyways it's just who knows how often you'll actually end up clicking them okay other than night revel stuff let's talk about some of the big changes in update 62 which i honestly thought ugh, i'm not a huge fan of some of these changes they're making up in update 62 both the plus weapon stuff and the amber temple changes which we'll get to in a minute but they are doing some balanced stuff for rescaling honestly when i looked at this and i know why they're doing it but of the all the things they could spend their time on, this just seems to be really low on the priority list. I'm not saying it's not a good thing. This stuff, they're making certain things scale better, but there's so much stuff I'd rather see them do instead of this. But anyways, let's get into it. So with active attacks rebalance, we are changing all attacks that have plus weapon component as part of their attack to, to use a percentage increase in their damage following the scale. So an extra 10% for each plus weapon damage. So if you don't know what this is referring to, there's certain many different attacks you can take that do an extra plus weapon damage when you use them. For example, Boulder's Might in the... Um, Fury of the Wild Tree, for example, but there's many, many different active attacks that do like a plus weapon component when you use them. So all of these plus weapon damage components are going to be converted into a percentage. So instead of an attack doing an extra plus one damage, it's going to do an extra plus 10% damage. So it's going to scale more uh, evenly throughout the game because if it's just a plus weapon damage bonus, then it's going to be the same at every level. But if, if it's a plus percentage bonus it, it will scale more smoothly so that's the goal here here they want to make this stuff scale more smoothly instead of you getting an attack and it all of a sudden getting the full like plus three weapon damage and never really scaling to be more than that it's going to instead scale more smoothly because it is a percentage now so that's that's the change essentially um this is all stuff they've mentioned this too and i think they mentioned it later in the notes but this is stuff they're all doing they're doing a lot of this scaling stuff in preparation for more future level cap increases just so stuff scales more smoothly um some other things cleave and great cleave have been updated to deal plus 20 percent plus 40 percent damage respectively so you might want to take a second look at those defeats maybe you want to use them now they've gone out of style a strike strike through in particular has come into the game many years ago um i definitely used to use cleave and great cleave but don't as much anymore so maybe this will make those more competitive um you still have to deal with the slow animation but uh, and that's another big reason people don't use cleaves but uh, but yeah they you, you might want to look at great cleave like great cleave now those feats Okay, continuing on here, this is kind of related, but weapon scaling rebalance. The devs here say, we are standardizing weapons across the entire game to follow a new weapon scale. This affects all named weapon and shields with the exceptions listed below. So they list some like the, the old normal hard elite version stuff, but I'm not going to go through all that, but there are some exceptions, but generally all named items will be converted to a new weapon scale. They say our goal is to provide a way for items to scale upwards as the level cap continues to increase and fix some of the dead zones concentrated about around high heroic levels and early epic levels where gear advancement isn't as meaningful. I mean, so I don't think overall that we're going to see a huge difference in our gameplay. Like some stuff, so I'm not saying there isn't changes. There's certain weapons that may be a little better, a little worse. I think one mention was like the Barovian weapons might be a little worse, whereas the, I know the dev zones and specifically the Sword of Shadow would actually be slightly better. But yeah, here's the new weapon scaler. So it's just going to scale more evenly through levels. I would not expect, I see some people really um, talking about this a lot. I just, guys, I don't think you're going to see a big difference in your gameplay. Very, very slight. 
uh, changes here. And I mean, this is overall something where it's like this plus the active weapon attacks this is my whole issue with it. It's like, there's so many things they could have done with this time. Like how about revamp the shadow fell and mo to loot? How about do revamps on certain trees? And they did some enhancement trees, but do more revamps from certain trees, you know, for really weak trees. I mean, there's a lot of things they could have done instead of this scaling, which I don't think, okay, Yes, it makes, makes things scale more smoothly, but it was fine as is. Every, not everything in the game has to be a completely smooth scaling. I think it's okay if you get a really nice thing at, say, like a, a quick access to a plus five weapon uh, attack at a lower level, even though it'll mean less um, when you get to higher levels if it doesn't scale properly. But I, I just don't think this, I just don't see why this was such a big priority they had to do it now. But anyways, I don't want to rant too much. Let's go into other class changes. So another thing they're doing, and they've been doing this, and I've touched on this on some of my other videos I've done, but they're doing a, kind of a, a kind of a mile wide inch deep kind of approach with the heroic enhancement trees. They've been hitting a lot of these uh, in, in different ways. So, and this is one thing you definitely want to chime in. If you don't normally pay attention to the Lamania forms, I mean, it's too late now for these, but definitely chime in whenever the next updates on preview, if they continue this, because they will listen to feedback. And I, I will actually, they actually, I'm pretty sure it was my comment they, they listened to. It. Maybe they were thinking this anyway, but there is one change I specifically asked for and can say that they actually made. Um, and I, I didn't see anyone else ask, ask for that on the Lamania forms. But anyways, um, that's I, I'm not going to go through all these, but just go through your class here. I mean, I think some of the changes, uh, one big one here that I'll mention is imbues were nerfed a bit. So uh, skill, spell power scaling imbues have been standardized. They all deal 1d8 damage and all now scale with 75% spell powers. I know this is something that Severlin talked about a little bit in his uh, Q&A from the other day with Cordovan, but uh, he did mention that, yeah, I mean, there's a nerf um, because some builds with imbues were getting a little nutty. So yeah, the, yeah, so there is a little bit of nerf with imbues. Um, let's see tactics. This is the one that actually I specifically asked for the tactics for some reason. And can say was like two AP per rank that was changed to one AP per rank, but, um, yeah, just look through this guys. Uh, it's important with every update now that you really look at the release notes, because it seems like every update now they're doing these broad changes to different enhancement trees and odds are something you are using on a character very likely has been changed. Um, they've hit mo many different enhancement trees in the last few few updates and patches and things. So yeah, guys, um, is there anything else I want to go over? Oh, actually, yes, let's get into the Amber Temple stuff and the raid stuff. So before I get into the Amber Temple stuff, uh, there is a big change that I just saw today in these release notes that I've not seen mentioned before on Lamani or anything else, unless I missed it. But four different raids, Hunter Be Hunted, Dried in the Demigod, Skeletons in the Closet, and Fire from Wargrave now drop plus eight tomes. That is awesome because the only other way to get plus eight tomes has been to get the 7,500 favor reward, which is a ton of favor. Um, obviously, you can buy like a plus eight tome in the store or a plus eight supreme in the store, but this is great. This is another reason to you to, to actually run these raids. So if you don't normally raid, maybe consider running these raids to try to get a plus eight tome. Uh, obviously, with a with that, the to the drop rate will probably be, I'm sure, is minuscule, tiny, tiny, tiny. But it's you know another reason to run the raid. So I think it's cool. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, let's talk about Amber Temple. For some reason, the devs decided to go into Amber Temple and change some things. I cannot. I, I think this is a complete waste of their time. I don't get it. Like there are so many, like I mentioned before, there's so many things they could have done um, with this quest instead of, uh, or not with this quest, but there's so many other things they could have spent their time on other than Amber Temple. I mean, Amber Temple is a, a very um, divisive quest. A lot of people like it, a lot of people hate it, but they've made some changes and I'm not going to read through every single release notes here, but some of the things they've done that you need to know, there are less flame skulls in the quest. Uh, the quest is now more linear than it was. Another change they're making is there was a way to do to backdoor through the lich, a way to quickly get through the quest by backdooring and going to the lich and things. They've removed that, um, so you have to actually get to the end now to where the you know where that long cutscene is. However, they are actually re letting you um, skip that cutscene. So like right here, they talked about the cutscene can now be skipped by interacting with uh, the amber slab a second time. So that is one concern that was poured out on Lamania. A lot of people didn't like that you'd have to sit through that long cutscene at the end, but you can skip it now. So um, some give and take there. The quest is now less random. It's going to be more linear but uh, in have less uh, flame skulls, so that's good, but a lot of people aren't going to like that the backdoor thing with the lich is taken out, and you actually have to now get to the end. 
Um, but at least we can sip the cutscenes. So some give and take there. I, I overall, I think the quest was fine. Like, I, I don't know why they spent, I hope they didn't spend much time on this because I think this is like on the, pro, on the list of things they could spend their time on. This is like so, so low on the list um, that I hope they didn't spend much time on it. And it, hopefully it was just a side thing they did with, with some extra time. Um, yeah, guys, I think that's about it. Is there any other buffs or, or any other changes I want to talk about? Yeah, I think that's about it for the for the main points, guys. I'm not going over every single thing, obviously, on the release notes, but those are the main points. So, yeah, guys, tell me what you think about these changes. And, uh, yeah, look out for my next video. I am doing a video covering the whole, like, uh, the Q&A with Seven Cordovan from the other day. So be on the lookout for that video. That will be coming in the next few days. But, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Take care.